Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but uh, I'm here today with my mom and we, <laughs> and we are in Asheboro for flying and so let's go look at some planes. Yay! So the one with the orange nose and the orange wingtips, hopefully that's the one she'll get to fly on today. So both of those are airplanes that you can ride today at the air show. We're hoping that the first one the waiting list will go by pretty quick so she can get a flight and actually get some footage from the air. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So we're gonna walk around and look at some more airplanes. Go to the museum, maybe yeah. get some homemade ice cream. I don't know, we'll see what's in store. It's a nice day. Nice breeze, kinda sunny, warm, but Not nice too breeze. hot. No. We'll be we'll be nice and pinkish red when we get done here. <laughs> <laughs> Toodles! Walked right into it. Okay. 
Okay, you want to say something? Hi. <laughs> Adult general aviation in the United States as we know it today. air show and this gentleman's going to tell us about his airplane okay because it has our rv4 wings on it what's his name jim mr jim i'm brian campbell from elizabethtown north carolina <clears throat> this is a Harmon rocket it has a um, it has an rv4 wing that is 22 inches shorter and has a heavier gauge metal than your rv4 that you guys used to have uh, i had an rv4 before i had this with 180 horsepower so this is a kind of a, a, a mate between several airplanes, but an RV4 wing, an RV4 tail with a 330 horsepower line coming I-540. So I've uh, got plenty of power and a little bit more room than your Ford. And a neat airplane. And very fast, two, 200 knots, true airspeed. So this was the step. Back then when I bought this, they did not have the RV8s. The RV8 had not come out yet. Um, so this was the airplane to have that had, you know, more horsepower and faster and a little bit more room. Uh, but I bought it from a guy in Santa Ana, California. Okay. Most of these airplanes back then were on the West Coast because the guy, John Carter, that designed it and put it all together is from uh, San Diego. So, there's, I guess there's probably less than 70 of these airplanes were. Wow. Now, there was a variant is called an uh, called an F1 rocket that is similar but it's closer to the RV8 it carries 10 more gallons of fuel and the wings a little bit different uh, which is good it's a good airplane uh, this one's probably just a tick faster the rock the Harmons are a little bit faster than the F1s neat. But, neat. <clears throat> but a neat airplane I've enjoyed it see all those rivets Caitlin we buffed a lot oh, of rivets. Gosh, oh gosh yeah. gosh yeah you know what oh. for those of you that build which I don't, you look at that rivet work and you know the work that went into it. See, I look at it and don't think twice about it because uh, I didn't I, I didn't look do, at it and I think, uh, oh my gosh. I didn't do any of it. So um, I don't have the patience to uh, to build, but uh, it's been a good airplane. I've enjoyed it. How long have you had it? I've had it for 14 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very nice. So, All right. Well, thanks for sharing. Thank
Thank you. Yes, Thank it. you. Okay, y'all have a good afternoon. You too. Here's your friend, Papa. He's going to taxi. There he goes, Papa. Harmon Rocket. There he goes. Oh, my hand shaking. He's gonna hit it straight up here in a minute. There it goes. There it goes, Pop Daddy. Don't look too much. Here it comes. Get ready, Papa! Look, there he is!